Mobility is the real goal. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have thought about when your mobility becomes more important than your money? That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. It's right now. It's right now, guys, because you have to move your body now how you want it to move later in life. And in order to do that, I'm going to help you do that today. I'm going to teach you how to build your health portfolio. Yeah, that's a good one. The top three investments that every single one of us need to make in our lives is in our mind, our body, and our heart. What about our bodies? Let me ask you guys something. How many miles do you have on your vehicle? I'm not talking about that vehicle. I'm not talking about the one on four wheels. I'm talking about the one on two legs. Yeah, think about this. If we had an odometer, every day when we woke up, we could look down and see the odometer, and it would tell us how many miles we have left on our body and our heart. Do you think you would treat yourself different if you knew that? Yeah, absolutely. Wake up one morning after, you know, a night out at a, at a party, maybe had a little too much to drink, staying out too late, maybe I haven't been exercising or eating right. Whoa, there's 1,200 more miles on there. That's a big deal. But if the miles rolled back, wouldn't that give you motivation and empower you to treat yourself better? Yes. Now that we, we've got our top three investments that'll help us build our health portfolio, keep us moving through life, right? Yeah, it's all about mobility. We've got to manage those investments with what I call weight management. No, 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 not, not that kind of weight. W-A-I-T, weight management. That's right, because managing your expectations, that's the tough part. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Three things, guys, it's three phases. We've gotta have number one, before we ever start reaching our goals, improving our life, our finances, our relationships, our work, We've got to have a starting point, and I'll explain that. Then we've got to have a plan. We've got to have a clear, drawn out, understandable plan that works for us, right? And then we've got to have our destination. We've got to know where we're going, because a lot of people don't. So we've got to ask ourselves eight questions. Let me give you those eight questions. Number one, am I being realistic? And we'll come back to these. Number two, am I prepared for ups and downs? Number three, what are obstacles that might pop up? Number four, does this plan fit my schedule? That's a big one. There's one more thing. There's one more thing we've got to have, something that I've learned, the most valuable thing that I use in my life. We have to fight to live another day. I love that. And let me tell you something. Most of the time when you hear it, it's the opposite. Let's live to fight another day. You know what's wrong with that? I mean, it's positive, but to me, hey, you guys know, do we have any guarantee of tomorrow? No. Let's fight the fight now.